Hello, this is uh, Bob with uh, Quilters Headquarters, and I'm going to be doing a video on the Eversown Sparrow X. It's a single needle embroidery machine and sewing machine. And you can, um, if you look right down below, you can subscribe to our channel, and that would help us out greatly if you could do that. I believe I'm going to do this in two different uh, sections. This is going to be section number one, which is going to be uh, how to just do sewing on it. And then section number two, I'll do a video on how to do embroidery on it. Okay, and so I'm doing this um, solo. So I'll move the camera and get it set, and then I'm going to be off the camera. And, but you'll hear my voice. And so I'm going to slowly move this for we won't get an upset stomach. There we go. And it looks like that's pretty good. All right, we'll, we'll do that. And we'll start. First of all, I'm going to turn it on. It's right here right by the cord where the electric cord comes out. You have that right there. Okay, then the next thing I want to show you, I'm not going to actually wind the bobbin, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And you got to make sure when you put your, your spool on that you put this large cap on for it'll spool off correctly. And then if you follow the numbers, there's a dotted line and there's a solid line. Solid line is sewing, dotted line is... Uh, is bobbin winding and it's right up here so number one is this clip right here so I clipped it into there okay and then what you do is you go into here and then you come around and you go into this right here and kind of hold it and pull it tight that's a tensioner now I should feel some tension and then when you put your bobbin on you, you would put your bobbin on, wrap this around, push this in, push down the foot pedal, and you can control your speed on this machine right here, and you can wind your bobbin. It's simple as that, and it'll be a nice tight if you do this correctly, but you have to make sure you go like this, like this, and you hit that. Okay, now we're going to thread the machine. So I'm into this eye right here, and it says number one, that's this eye, and it even has the picture solid is the needle, and then the dotted line is the bobbin. And so now I'm going to go to number two, which is right here, and bring this down. Number three is in here, either side, left or right. You bring it down. Now you should always thread it with the pressure foot up. So make sure you put the pressure foot up. You can see here I have the pressure foot up. That relieves the, the, this tensioner. Because if you do it with the pressure foot down, a lot of times the thread won't go into the tensioner. Okay, so let's uh, go down. Number four shows you coming back up. And then you get this where you can see that, right? That's your take up lever. Now it's inside, and I'm going to bring it down. Here's number six. And you go into this section, this little one right here shows you number six. You go into there. Number seven is this thing on the needle right there. Now you want to get your needle at its highest point. You want to drop your pressure foot, and you want to bring down your needle threader and you can put your thread right there on that that spot push this down and what's nice about the sparrow one is that you don't have to be holding this while you're doing this it snaps in then you hit the needle with the thread then bring it up and then you just um, lift up on this let go of this thread at the same time and then there's the the loop to thread it okay I'm going to do that one more time for you. So make sure your needle at its highest point. I bring this down and it just snaps down into it. 
and then you put the thread right here on this hook hit the needle bring it up right up like that okay now as I lift this up I'm going to release the thread and there is my thread right there lickety split right and then I'm going to lift this up and on the side right here behind it I can pull you can see my thread there's a thread cutter and I cut my thread now I have on this comes with two plates and this plate is the zigzag plate the other plate is the single needle plate and the single needle hole is good for straight stitching and embroidery so um, if you're going to be doing a lot of piecing and you're just nothing but straight stitching uh, put on this sing single needle um, um, plate and so now what I'm going to do is we're going to do the bobbin so I'm going to take the bobbin and I had a bobbin there it is up here and when you pull the bobbin it goes counterclockwise and there's a picture on this right here let's see where the camera yeah we can kind of see it right get over that blue there we go now you can see it right there and so but it's important when you put this in you bring it around and it just kind of slides into this spot when you're right here at the arrow hold the bobbin with your finger and pull it tight and this is a drop-in bobbin it might look a little bit different than yours the ones that I use drop-in on embroidery drop in bobbins for embroidery this is the bobbin that you wind but this drop in bobbin is class 15 so then we go to here you follow this line and you got this in here and it has a little thread cutter and it cuts the thread I'll just throw it over there and and there it's that's on now this is ready to sew which we're going to do a little bit of sewing we're going to show you a little bit how that works and then we're going to change the needle plate and then we're just going to make another video on how to do embroidery and so here we go this is a nice sewing machine and so and i have my speed control here look how nice and straight it goes it's going nice and straight it's not going to the left not going to the right that's real important and this little dynamite machine is so awesome because you got a scissors cut and you don't usually find one in this price range with a scissors cut and um and there's my sewing and so then you also have needle down which is another nice feature so whenever I stop, if I'm doing applique, I can just turn it, go like this and turn it. I got needle down whenever I stop. And so that works real well. So needle down is a, is a big plus. And then I can cut it. Another big plus with the uh, sewing machine side of this machine is... Um, you have an always run button so when I'm doing free motion quilting things like that um, I don't have to be concentrating on the foot pedal at all I can adjust my my speed and I can push the button and just free motion quilt runners tabletops things like that you wouldn't have a, a problem with the cutter is very fast it works faster than other cutters on the market and then you have another feature which is nice and that feature is this it ties the knot so you don't have to go forward backward anything at all like that you just go like this push the button and i've tied my knot so that that's just an awesome feature and of course here's reverse and so I can hold down the button it goes as far as I want it I let go and it goes forward 
and look how nice and straight it goes. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. That's really nice. Okay, then the other things that we'll look at as a sewing machine is right here. Let's see. Yeah, you can pretty much see that. Um, right here is your um, your menu. So this is your your stitches. And see, if I push that, this is for, see these two flower things? This, this panel here is if you get an error message when you're doing embroidery, you just pull this out and it tells you what the error is. And then when you correct the error, you have to turn the machine off, then turn it back on. You have to reboot. Okay, and so the, then this is, see, there's the, on, on this, let's see if you can see that. You can't. Let's get this down here where you can see it a little bit better. There, that's about the best this, this is going to do for you. There you go. And then we'll move that a little bit for you there. So this was the um, error message. This is for the two little stars right here. So when you put match these two stars with these two stars right up here, off when you s use the menu, and it shows a little line right here, and then this is for over here, right? So um, you, that's for these stitches, these decorative stitches. And then if I push this uh, button here, this is for these stitches and it even has an emblem right down here that shows you what um, each of these these cards will do and so this is the sewing emblem matches this emblem matches that green light I pull that out and then I can just push this button and to see this is 040506 and I can just find my um, deals that way I'm going to reboot just to go back to zero and then so um, and so that's what this does and then the other thing that you can you do is when you're in this this sewing mode or in this mode doesn't matter either one of these modes you go to this button here this button here this is my stitch um, width this is my stitch length, which it's defaulted at 2.5, which is kind of popular. And in this, I can adjust my tension. So if I put this down here and I go like this, I can actually adjust my tension from default. But it seems like the tension is working fine. But if I want to adjust a little bit because I change fabrics, I change threads, there's a little bit of difference. I might be free motion quilting. I need to change my default tension you can easily do that right here with that button and so that's nice and so then I can go to um, uh, here and then I can go to here and I can find my zigzag is 06 so I'm going to go over to here and I am going to go to let's see there we go I'll push this for I can go to 06 there's 06. That's my zigzag. Now I am going to go to width, stitch width. That's five millimeters. And I can go to seven millimeters wide. And so. Hands free. Nice and straight. I'm not fighting it. And I cut it. And there's my zigzag. Flip it over, and that is a perfect tension on a zigzag. And this is a batik. So the next thing I'm going to show you is um, if you want to change over to the single stitch plate. So the single stitch plate is for a couple of things. Um, if you're piecing, doing a lot of piecing, you're not going to do any zigzags or decorative. Uh, it's you get a nice looking stitch on the on the single stitch hole 
Then the other advantage is is if you're doing free motion quilting, the single stitch hole is nice. And then, of course, you need it to do the embroidery. So I took the bobbin out. I'm going to put my, I took the, unscrewed this using the screwdriver that comes with the machine. So there, there you go. Screwdriver that comes with the machine. I'm going to put my plate back, back on for it won't get lost. And then it even has a red dot on here to remind you that this is a, this is a single hole plate. See the single hole? And it's kind of larger, which is nice for free motion quilting. So then I'm going to put this on. Just drop that right in there like a that. And then I screw it on. And I always start it with by hand. Always. So I know I don't have a cross threaded. Never use a tool until you get at least a couple of turns. Then... I tighten it and you don't have to reef down on it. It's not a diesel engine. It's not going to go nowhere. Just, just a slight tug is all you got to do. And then we're going to put in our bobbin and we got to remember counterclockwise. Go to here, hold it, pull it tight. And then, whoops. So you miss that. Sometimes you can miss that black thing and you have it. You thought you had it threaded and you didn't. And then you're calling up saying there's something wrong. Then you turn this, go around, cut it, plates back on. And now I'm ready to single stitch. Make sure I'm on my single stitch or I'll break a needle. Drop this down. I'm on zero, zero. I can even double check it by rebooting. And, and look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? You don't have to pull the tails. You don't have to have a starter on it. Great job. Okay, well, thanks for watching this. I'm going to do a video next on this with the, um, em using the, em using the embroidery. So, um, let's see. Here we go. I'm back. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, share, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I would look at in the camera if I can find it. I think it's there. There it is. And so anyways, thanks. Bye.